Welcome back to Batman Arkham Origins. We're inside the big Gotham swanky hotel where Joker's having his Legion of Lame <laughs> meeting. Alfred, order bat room service. <laughs> I think... Cr so, your regular room service at home, sir? <laughs> I think, yes. <laughs> I think the origin of Christmas trees comes from the pagan um, holiday. Yes, Christmas it is. Christmas sort of hides. Oh, no. Oh, no. Christmas, as we know it today, is nothing but a hodgepodge of other people's stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but I think the tree in particular is slightly funny because I think it it was a phallic symbol. Um, so yeah, you know, yeah, fertility and all that. Uh, made I'm pretty sure thing. that. Well, oh, so putting a star on it is like putting a condom on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Teaching kids safe sex. I'm pretty sure that um, that according to all like evidence that we have, that Jesus's birthday was sometime in like April. Or whatever, yeah. so they don't even have the month right. But actually, fun fact about condoms. Did you know that people as early as the <laughs> medieval ages were using sheep intestines as condoms? True story. I heard that the first... Thanks, Christmas. I heard that the first vibrator was literally a jar full of bees. <laughs> That's hardcore. Okay, you know what? I was We need to bring that back. I was going to say that that was a terrible idea. But that's actually, like, hardcore. If you're brave enough to put a jar of bees that close to your private bits, then you deserve to get off on it, all right? So you guys might be, what you guys see in a hornet's nest, I see a good Saturday night. <laughs> I'm just going to go and he get my later, buzz he if was you later, know what I mean. A week later, he was admitted out of the hospital. <laughs> anyway... It got what stolen in a different way than you. I, was, I, I said something. I said something about trivia. I, I said I, I spouted some trivia about Christmas trees originally being a pagan phallic symbol, and 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 somehow we got. It ended with me shoving a hornet's nest up someone's cooch. Right. I mean, uh, also, who whoever's idea was it to chop down a tree and drag it inside? I I don't know what you were thinking, because that's a lot of work. Hmm. That's why you just go to the Home Depot. <laughs> just buy a tree there. Back tree. in the prehistoric times? Get a fake... Yeah, I'm pretty sure your old Home Depot is a thing. Okay. Get a fake plastic tree and use it every year, and you won't have to kill the trees. Go back then, it was called Home Depot. I mean, you won't, have that, you won't have that pine smell, but you can always emulate that with an get air freshener. You just have an air freshener on the fake tree. <laughs> <laughs> every five minutes, it squirts. Don't even put it back into the basement. Just put a cloth over it, and then you can undo it every time. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to do a takedown, but you're stuck in snap to cover. Oh. <laughs> Ow! That worked. Was punching Away. him after you cracked his skull really necessary, though? Yes. Oh, and they have bat uh, detective goggles that they can see you in the dark with, right? Yeah. The more like they can, uh, they have to stop and scan the gargoyle to see if you're there. It's really obvious when they do it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't really see the detective vision, the the batterings in the detective vision. So it just kind of looked like Batman pointed him to death. <laughs> Force push. <laughs> stop, criminal. <laughs> yes, sir, <laughs> Mr. Batman, sir. Speaking of which... Freeze! That's Mr. Freeze. Speaking freeze. of which, I actually keep he hearing really good things about our latest Jedi game. So. Oh yeah, it looks really good. I want to grab it at some point, but I'm also really adverse to paying $60 for games these days, so... It's, um, it's basically the Dark Souls of Star Wars games, and by that I mean it like copies its structure from Dark Souls. So yeah, that's <laughs> it, from what I saw. It looked like Dark Souls, but not as mean. So um, that's kind of why I was interested in playing it. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you guys, but I'm just I'm not very good at games. Like I think everybody who's watched a Brain Scratch playthrough that I've done probably knows that. So, I don't know, the idea of games that are purposefully super ultra difficult like that and hmm. are punishing when you make a mistake, at least action games like that, I'm better at RPGs, so it doesn't bother See, me as much. See, here's like an that. interesting thing about that, as far as Dark Souls goes, anyway. Um, it's not really super ultra difficult, it's just difficult in a way that you don't see in a lot of games. It's very deliberate, ponderous, you have to... You have to deal with animation lock for everything you do, so you can't just swing your sword carelessly. You have to be meticulous about how you fight. 
Yeah, it's also the punishing is also the thing. Yeah, but as well as it's like even though it's like punishing in the moment, it's also fairly forgiving when you die. Like you lose the stuff that you had when you when you die, or at least you lose the experience points. But if you make it back to the place where you died, you can just pick it up. Um, if you make it back to the place where you died without dying again, I should say. Which, you know, if you made it there the first time, you've got good chances of reaching that point. So, it's not as hard. Wait, is he playing? <laughs> that man is playing Galaga? Yeah, that's like <laughs> uh, It's not as hard as it's build, but... It's hard in just as unique, in just as a unique enough way, that a lot of people find it really difficult to get into in the first place, which makes me think of the original Devil May Cry. A lot of people talked about how hard that game was at the time. I remember it. It was super hard, or at least according to everyone I talked to who'd played it. But nowadays, it's actually kind of easy because a lot of the gameplay conventions used in it are more common, and we're just more used to that stuff. You know. So do we not actually fight Electrocutioner? No. Nope. nope. Kick them in the face once. And he's done. And then uh, Joker offs him, and then we take his shit. Oof. Yep. We got an upgrade. <laughs> cool, why, I guess. Why did the Joker do that? Because the extra Electrocutioner is, worth is worthless. <laughs> oh, I... oh, you see, that's how we know Joker's insane. He likes the fruitcake. <laughs> he took my joke, damn it. <laughs> And he wants to share it. <laughs> uh, hi, Deadshot and Shiva. We'll never be seeing you because you don't care. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, are they optional? Yep. Okay. It's weird that, like, they bill all of these big villains as the guys you have to fight, and, like, half of them get killed off screen, and the other half. Well, Croc, you, don't... You, well, Croc you take out in the very beginning of the game. The Electrocutioner is a joke. Two of them you don't have to fight. Joker's Electrocutioner. <laughs> yeah. So two of them you don't even have to fight. So you really only fight like four of them over the course of the game. Not to mention that like Copperhead seemed relatively uninteresting and yeah. uh, di not Deadshot. Uh, the di not I, I wanted Deathstroke. to call yeah I wanted to call him Deadpool. <laughs> he's just I'm not, not Deadpool. I came first. <laughs> he's just not super interesting, I thought, in the terms of this game. That's like, in, in terms of this game, no. <laughs> That's, um, yeah. I'm taking your glove. My fists are huge! <laughs> oh, yes, the non-lethal non electric punching gloves. <laughs> uh, basically, taser punches. Yeah, because getting Wait, did, uh, did electric we... shot through your chest definitely did, won't did cause we, any heart attacks. Did we take Electrocutioner's electric gloves? Yes. So why is he still wearing them? No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Well, it, it's, well no, I, I think what Lewis means is that why is Electrocutioner's model still have them on? No, he doesn't. He has another <laughs> pair of gloves underneath his gloves. You're a thief, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to come to grips with that. You're a fucking thief. I'm Batman, I kill all the criminals. Well, he doesn't kill. Where did you get those electric gloves, sir? I'm not wearing electric gloves, <laughs> sir. No, I'm not. <laughs> and I can't you see I can't believe we're actually getting another Arkham game though. Did they officially announce it? No, but all signs point to it. It is heavily rumored, heavily teased. I think it's only a matter of time. At the time of this recording the game awards just a couple of days away. Uh and we're thinking that's when it's gonna be revealed. I love when we say things beforehand because we A right. date the commentary and B, like, we're... Well, that's why I'm leaving it that heavily rumored. That's why we think it's going to be revealed. That's well, what I'm yeah, saying. It's not still, going to this be. This is like still the think. day we got the Resi 3 trailer. So, I right. if, if John's right, he's a fucking, he's a fucking right. prophet, okay? A video game prophet. No, I'm not. I'm just relaying info that I've heard. I'm just saying, <laughs> a lot of people kind of expect a Batman game at some point yeah. soon. Because WB Montreal has not been subtle. <laughs> I just have they only ever made Batman? Did they do anything between? No, they, they, I'm sure they've done. I just stuff. can't believe we're getting another Arkham game. Well, no, Rock, Rock, Rock said he did Knight. Uh, oh, okay. I, I just can't believe we're getting another Arkham game after the way Knight ended. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you just said it before Knight. Well, I mean, well, no, 
like I think he's talking about like how night was received and all of that oh. because there was a lot oh, of controversy no, I about was, that. I was talking. Of, no, no. Lewis means by the way how the I'm game. I'm talking ended. about the way like Wayne yeah. Manor exploded, and Bruce Wayne, his identity was revealed, and he basically had to retire as Batman, and they were setting up the Nightfall guy. Wait, so Bruce Wayne got revealed as Batman and didn't go to jail? No, he walked well, back he, into he his heard, home he heard, he heard and blew it up and faked his death because Batman is not a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Stop oh it. God. Stupid. He basically, uh, he, he, they basically ended it. He dark, he, dark, he dark Knight returned himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it that, is. That guy didn't die the... No, yeah, there's, a, there's a grappling. Pop. There's a there's a grappling hook connected to him, so he doesn't fall. Completely. That guy fell off though. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to learn one day, Batman, that you can't save everybody. I was supposed to save because everybody. Because you punched them off the roof. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, WB WB Montreal Games is actually all of it's just almost bat centric. Because huh. uh, they they. Uh, they handled Armored Edition, or Arkham City for the Wii U. They made this one game called Cartoon Universe I've never heard of. Un- unfortunately, uh, side teams tend to get, like, a far more monotonous uh, set of projects from their publishers. Right. Well, what did Rocksteady did, make after Arkham Knight? Nothing. Have they... Nothing? So nothing they're, 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 they're in the retro situation where everyone's wondering what the hell they've been doing for the past five years. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Arkham VR was the last thing they contributed towards, and that was in 2016. Yeah, because, like, yeah, Retro Studios, nobody knows what they've done since. Yeah, since well, Trouble there was a problem with... Like, what, 14? The problem with game design is that, you know, people are pretty much always working on things, but they don't tell you they're working on things until they know they're going to commit to the project. So, they... I think especially with Nintendo, because they don't like revealing games until they're... They're mostly they have something to show unless if your name's Pikmin Four, which was announced four goddamn it, years ago. It's but. more wasn't that Hey Pikmin? It's <laughs> it's more that the usual long development cycle is four or five maybe six years. Yeah. For a game. Yeah. At some point you have to ask what the hell have they been working on for so long? Because obviously you know sometimes stuff gets canceled. You demo a game, it doesn't work out. You start something new. Usually, by the time you've gone six, almost seven years, you have to be working on something you plan on releasing at this point. Hopefully, at least. Because other, otherwise, otherwise you're not otherwise you're not making any money. Yeah. Otherwise, you're yeah you're a cash sink for that studio, and they're gonna want to shut the work on to someone else there, that will get there, the game the, done. The other thing, though, is that sometimes uh, part of a development team or all of a development team is shunted off to work on some other project under another uh, under another developer as an assist. Problem yeah. is, we know Rocksteady and Retro haven't been doing that. <laughs> well, no, Retro has been doing some small stuff. Like, I believe they're technically credited on, like, some of the Nintendo Labo things, and there was a handful of other small things, like... Very small, that's yeah, something they're going to yeah, be using their entire company for. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, is that, yes, that is technically true, but... They still probably would have a good amount of their workforce ready to go. I would, I would hope at the very least. Mm. And Retro are working on Prime Four now. Now, theoretically. They are, but yeah. Yeah. What, what were they doing the previous six years? <laughs> uh, Star Fox Racing. Remember that rumor? Oh, you mean the one that was full of shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of, of course it was, because it was a video game <laughs> rumor. Man, guys, uh, don't you know that uh, Goku is going to be in Smash Brothers? The Grinch told me. <laughs> the fact that oh, so man, many I, people I, oh, believe man, that I, rumor <laughs> still makes me facepalm. Oh man, I love deconfirming characters instead of just naming who our, what our source says. Wait, there have been... Okay, I haven't been following Smash rumors. In okay, forever. people have been deconfirming characters and companies instead of just naming who the character is, but they totally have a source, guys. They have a source that say that this person isn't in the game. Yeah, okay. or so, or something along those lines. It's like, oh, but I can deconfirm it's not a Sony character. It's like, wow, such a brave pick. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Han Solo is not going to be in Smash Ultimate. Wow. I can't tell you my source, but I can say with 100% certainty. Oh, but, that, but as you, you see, it definitely wasn't Han Solo when they announced the character. I was totally right, guys. Take me seriously. <laughs> 
And then Han Solo does get added for DLC pack three, and then I'm <laughs> suddenly full just, of it. Just say, fuck that guy. <laughs> but it's it's okay, because I said it wasn't going to be Harrison Ford Han Solo, and it's Solo the movie Han Solo, re- Han Solo. <laughs> prequel Han Solo. So I was still right the entire time. Definitely. How is that movie, by the way? It's eh. fine. <laughs> it exists. So I haven't watched it. It's it's it, no interest. It exists. You don't need to watch. Fine. You don't you don't need to watch it. It's like it's okay. Like it is a perfectly serviceable heist movie and there's some okay Star Wars fan service. It's fine. Darth Maul but I would say for the first time yeah. in a movie since Phantom Menace and then disappears because we all know he dies in Rebels and not in a movie. So what was the point? Uh, d- do they give him his spider legs in Rebels? No, no. no. He, uh. The spider legs thing was a very specific, like, short thing that happened when Maul was insane or something. But after that... They don't like to bring it up. <laughs> after that, he's given, like, regular robot legs, you know? Yeah. But anyway, it's it's an adequate movie. It's not a must-watch. But if it were on, I wouldn't turn it off, you know? It's like one of those movies. Right. I wouldn't pay for it, the DVD, but I might watch it in a Star Wars marathon or, on Disney+. Plus. Or if you had a subscription to Netflix and it happened to be there, because it is. 